If you want to give a name to the result of an expression, such as a name for the result 3, 1 plus 2, then you can write def, short for define, then the name that you're defining, pi in this case, and then an equal sign. When I run this program, nothing will print out because this is a definition instead of an expression, but of course it defines pi so that I can use it down below, and we get the value 3 out. If your expression is so complicated that you don't want to put it on the same line, then the best thing to do is to use a colon, uh, and then you can put things on a new line as usual. So def allows colon or equal. Uh, you can use whichever one you prefer. The result is the same. If we're writing a function, then normally instead of def, we will write fun, short for function, and then the name of the function. And then in parentheses, we have the arguments to the function, and then a colon followed by the body. So since it's colon, I can go to the next line. I'll say pi r squared here. And after defining this function, then I can call it in a circle area of 2, and I should get back a 12. Now you may have noticed that I didn't give a type to the argument r, but it still has a type. Um, it was just inferred in the same way that the type for pi was inferred. So pi is an integer. It must be because its value is 3. Circle area is a function that takes an integer and returns an integer. So we've seen this a little before, but I'll just emphasize it now. When you have an arrow in a type, that is a function type, and the function takes the kinds of things that are on the left, and it returns the kinds of things that are on the right. So circle area takes an integer and returns an integer. If we wanted to write the type explicitly, we can do that with double colons. Uh, there has to be no space between the two colons. That makes it an operator. This is an operator that associates a name with a type. So here we're saying explicitly that r has type integer. If I wrote string here, then it just wouldn't match. The type checker would tell me. You can do that with defines too, so I could be explicit about pi being an integer. And if I want to write the result type of a function, it goes after the closing parenthesis here, before the colon for the body. So that's how I would write circle area and explicitly say that it has type int returning int.